It was January 2016, the golden age of everybody hating reaction channels. Shitty reaction channels like Jinx were receiving major backlash for being lazy yet popular content. And community backlash against reaction videos increased tenfold when the Fine Bros attempted to copyright the concept of reaction videos and had several videos taken down for ripping off their brand. This is when one of the unsung heroes of YouTube started making videos. A handsome young man named David Richter and his channel called Reactor. The Reactor channel was made to satirize reaction channels. And if you take a look at the comment sections on these videos, you'll see that the satire was highly convincing. Reactor put up his first video on January 18th, 2016. It was called Rally Cars Keep Crashing on This Turn, Reaction and Thoughts, and featured Reactor watching a video while making the most inane commentary possible. But this was just a starting point. Reactor wanted to create a large backlog of videos that would establish him as an actual reaction channel, so that later on down the line, when he started making crazier videos, people would be more likely to believe that it was real. Wow. Non-stop. Wow. You just gotta turn them off at that point. The fourth video he made was the one that put him on my radar. A reaction video to my review of Be Gotta H Kai Yamada's first time. When I found this video, I also assumed that the channel was real. And I wanted to cash in on all the reaction video hate. So I thought it would be funny to make a reaction video to Reactor's reaction video of me. But then Reactor did the funniest thing possible. He made a reaction video to my reaction video of his reaction video, and by God, it was beautiful. He starts the video off by being excited and happy that I made a video about him. But as it goes on and he realizes that I'm making fun of him, he becomes increasingly upset, and he ends the video by crying and saying he'll never make videos again, but then reminds the audience to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Hey everyone, uh, I'm not gonna make any more videos, this is stupid, everyone's just gonna make fun of me, uh, leave your thoughts in the comments, and, uh, if you liked this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, like, and don't forget to subscribe. At this point, I had a pretty strong inkling that the channel was satire. I made a response video four hours after his video came out, exposing him as being fake by pointing out the parts of his video that seemed ingenuine. Now watch the part when I wrap my arms around my legs to imitate him doing the same thing. When he sees this, he unwraps his arms. This is fucking hilarious, but it was fake. It was all part of the act. In retrospect, I wish I wouldn't have made that video, because exposing the Reactor channel as being satire more or less ruins it overall. But I don't think I made that much of an impact. A few days later, I contacted Reactor via YouTube Messenger and asked if he would like to do a live stream with me so that we could sort out our differences. We did, but unfortunately, the channel that hosted the live stream was deleted a few months later. After this stream, I became friends with the guy and decided I would assist him in any way possible with his future satiric endeavors. Even though he said he was going to quit making reaction videos, Reactor put out a new one the very next day where he reacts to a Jinx compilation video that he himself made. Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I'm Reactor, and right now I've got a video for you of a YouTuber named Jinx. Uh, I made a, a compilation of his uh, reactions, uh, and it's a Try Not To Laugh compilation. So, right now, I'm gonna watch that video, and I'm gonna try not to laugh. So, here it is. Oh, poor puppy. So ugly ass. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> yes, he was reacting to his own video and laughing at it. 
undeniable comedic genius, but Reactor had a lot more tricks up his sleeve. Reactor's next target was Grade A Under A, and he ended up trolling all of Reddit at the same time. Grade had recently created a video about reaction channels, so Reactor took advantage of this by cutting up parts of Grade's videos to make it appear as though Grade was advertising Reactor's channel. He even made up a story that he and Grade were friends in real life, and that Grade really enjoyed his videos. Hey, what's up everybody? Reactor here, and I'm about to watch a video that one of my friends made. This is his channel. First things first, I just want to comment on this right away, okay? If you don't know, one of my favorite YouTube channels is Reactor, right? <laughs> Despite what they say, this guy is fucking genius. Your videos do show your reactions, but they're fucking genius, right? <laughs> that was genius, man. That was a really nice touch to the video. Literally over 95% genius. <laughs> That's something to be proud of. That's an entertaining video, right? So if you can't find value in subscribing to him yourself, that's fucking absurd, man. However, I advise people to go there and subscribe. What? That is awesome. Now here's where it gets good. Reactor took the fake Grade A Under A video that he made, and he paid $600 to make it appear as an advertisement on Grade A Under A's channel. So, when people would click on a Grade A Under A video, Reactor's fake Grade A Under A video would play, and they would think that they were watching the real thing. That was step one. Step two. Some kid made a video where he recorded his computer monitor with his phone to show the advertisement that Reactor had made. Reactor then took the video that this kid made and posted it on Reddit, and by using dozens of accounts and changing his IP address, he was able to get the video on the front page of Reddit within hours. This led thousands of people to the Reactor channel to attack him for what he'd done. And Grade A Under A himself was so upset by Reactor's prank that he posted several comments on the video. The best part was, many people quickly realized the prank that Reactor had pulled, and they started commenting to make fun of Grade A Under A for looking like a stupid jackass in the comments section. Grade then went on to mention this in one of his major videos. I've also had some guy use my copyrighted material to put together a fake advert for himself, which deceived and fooled a bunch of people into subscribing to it. But Reactor wasn't done yet. He then took the video of the kid recording his computer screen and complaining about the ad, and he made that video an advertisement on Grade's videos. And then he got that to the front page of Reddit again. These pranks earned Reactor over 2,000 subscribers, but he wasn't done messing with Grade yet. Grade A Under A's channel grew the most when he started creating drama videos about other YouTubers. And now Reactor had done the same exact thing by starting drama with Grade. Ironically, Grade didn't like getting a taste of his own medicine, as shown by his comments, and Reactor intended to highlight this hypocrisy with his next video called How to Grow a YouTube Channel featuring Grade A Under A. He edited Grade's videos together to make a fake collaboration video, and he used Grade's own words to expose him as a massive hypocrite. What the fuck is going on with YouTube, man? I don't know if you lot know this right, but recently... What's wrong, man? Oh, hi, Grade. I don't know. I'm just a little bummed because I don't know if I'll ever get my channel as popular as yours. Wait a minute. Do you think you can teach me? Of course, man. Awesome! Hello everyone, Grade A Under A here! Right, first of all, for people who aren't funny or interesting, growing a YouTube channel is a fairly difficult thing to do, right? It sure is. Getting the initial exposure is especially difficult. Controversy is one of the easiest ways of getting attention to your YouTube channel. Which is why, in the past, I have made a few videos directly calling out certain YouTube personalities, right? And people started paying attention, man! In the millions! So this in itself is pretty fucking hypocritical, right? It sure is, Grade. It's one of the most hypocritical things I've ever heard. I've had other YouTubers flat out steal my jokes word for word. I've also had some guy use my copyrighted material to put together a fake advert for himself, which deceived and fooled a bunch of people into subscribing to him. Oh, I think I get it now. You fuck with other YouTube channels to create controversy, and then when people start fucking with you, you cry for sympathy. 
Then for the third time, Reactor manipulated Reddit's voting system and got this video pretty high on r slash videos. Unfortunately, this is nearly the end of Reactor's journey. He did a few other funny things, like hosting a Reactor hat contest where a fan would win one of his trademarked Reactor hats, and he opened a P.O. box, received a dildo, and then had the dildo visible under his pillow in a later video. But Reactor was growing bored with the channel and decided to end it all with one final prank. First, he made a video called My Side of the Grade A Under A Ad Story and Third Annual Reactor Hat Contest, where he reiterated his stance that Grade is a talentless, drama-fueled, hypocritical content creator, and he made a statement about how creating controversy is one of the best ways to boost your subscribers. It is foolproof. It will work. So I guess, I guess that kind of shows if you, if you have a new YouTube channel or if you want to grow really fast, Start drama with Grady Under A because that, that's how that's how to grow a channel really fast. But just keep in mind, it's really low. You know, Grady Under A may have all those fans from from uh, causing drama, but but he's got the you know his fans only want drama. You know, his old fans probably probably liked when he was making uh, regular videos, but he can't stop now because he knows all of his subscribers only want his drama. They want him to make drama, and that's why. That's why he'll even go to a, a channel that has 37 subscribers and he'll start drama with them. I only had 37 subscribers when he came to my channel. Like, who does that? Like, that's like, you know, like if you have a million subscribers, why would you even bother going to such a small channel? Then, much like Jesus Christ, Reactor made the ultimate sacrifice for the good of humanity. He made a fake article on the Huffington Post, which is still up to this day, about how he had been arrested for two felony counts of international copyright infringement against Grade A Under A, and that he would be in prison for a minimum of one year. Since he was supposedly in prison and wouldn't be able to make videos, I recorded an update video for his channel where I talked about the arrest and posted a link to the article. Unfortunately, that's the end of the Reactor Saga. It's been over a year since the channel has posted a new video, and the man beneath the hat doesn't seem interested in reviving his YouTube career. Reactor is one of the prime examples of heroic satire during the internet age. He proved how terrible reaction videos are by making ones that were as bad as possible and yet thought to be real by hundreds of people. He exposed Grade A Under A as being a hypocritical, drama-obsessed jackass. He proved three times that it's extremely easy to break Reddit and get whatever you want on the front page. Reactor was one of the greatest YouTube channels of all time, and I hope he gets out of prison soon so that we can see what other tricks he has waiting for us. Hashtag justice for Reactor. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you like my videos and want to support the show, then I hope you'll check out my Patreon page down in the description. Also, my buddy Awesome Kurt just posted his first video called Moana is Better Than You Think, and it's pretty good. You should go check it out. I make a cameo. I'm in I'm in the video talking about Moana. Go go watch it. There's a link to that too. Go go check wa watch the video by Awesome Kurt. He's awesome. It's in the name. It's in his name you have to watch!